today I'm doing a tutorial. It's like a golden. What, why am I doing this with my eye? A golden brown sort of look. I don't really know what else to call it. I like it because it's. I feel like it's. Sorry, those are the little buttons. Like, bouncing against the face. That sounds really annoying. Um. Yeah, it's kind of an elegant, fancy kind of a little bit like a little bit of spice to it, so it can be like. Yeah, that, just, just ignore that. Yeah, but that's the sort of look that I'm doing today. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get um, the NYX eyeshadow base. You're going to want to just put this or um, an eyeshadow primer all over your eye. Just all over it. Okay, and once you're done with that, you are going to start using the Ulta palette, this uh, neutral white sort of shade, and you're going to use it um, just on the inner corners of your eye. And you're going to do that with um, a fluff brush, a flat brush, um, any sort of eyeshadow brush works. I'm just going to use this flat brush right here, so. Now, once you have the white um, neutral shade kind of color on the inner corners of your eye, um, just wipe that brush off on like a tissue or something. Or just use a different brush, it doesn't matter either way. And you're going to use the other color from this palette, which is um, going to be this one on the bottom. Ooh, I don't know what, if that'll be right or left to you, but yeah, you're just going to use that on the inner corner of your eye, and you're just gonna pat that down. On the middle part, actually. Yeah. You can't do that on both sides. You're not really supposed to get it like all the way up here, but whatever. If you do, you're just a rebel. That's okay. Makeup doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Okay, and next you're going to use this dark brown color that's next to the gold in the Ulta palette. And you're going to put it on the outer corner of your eye. Right here. I am patting it down as you do it. On both sides. Okay. <clears throat> Once you're done with that, you're going to get this color from the Key Clean Color Rainbow Splendor. And you're going to get a, kind of like getting a, you know, like a littler, small, littler, smaller, um, fluff brush and just put it on the inner crease of your eye. There we go. So, so right now, I'm going to get, um, this lighter, um, like, kind of pinkish brown, um, co color, and, um, I'm gonna put it, like, above these dark colors, just kind of mix it up here. And I'm gonna get a, um, I'm going to bring that light color, that kind of neutral white color, and just put it back up the top again. Oh. Goodness. Oh, oh, it's going everywhere. And I don't care. And just get that pink color and kind of like blend between the two of us. Really, really, really well and blend. 
you don't want to like have it go super super harsh line. So I'm even gonna do further blending from here. But yeah, um now that I have like all those colors and I'm just gonna get this big flat brush. I'm gonna work like up here with it where it's like lighter. Kinda just blend all the harsh lines out. So this is the clean color rainbow splendor kit and, and I'm just gonna get the very brightest white and just put it on the inner corners of my eye. You can probably already tell that I did that, but I didn't realize that it cut out, so I'm doing it again. So yeah, there. It's on the inner corners of my eye. <clears throat> now that it's in um, the inner corners of my eye, I'm going to just start lining my eyes with a dark brown liner. This one's a gel eyeliner from <clears throat> Mink, or not from Mink, in the color Mink from Ulta. Mm -hmm. I think it looks pretty even, maybe. Okay, now that I have the dark brown liner on, I'm just going to curl my lashes. <clears throat> so I'm just using Maybelline's The Rocket Express Waterproof Mascara. I'm just gonna brand. I actually I already have primer underneath my eyes, so I'm just gonna um I'm gonna get all underneath like at least that part that I just did. Don't worry, I'm going to put on more, conce more concealer and just lightening up that part of the eye. I'm going to get this Wet n Wild Eye Makeup Remover. And I'm going to dip a precision Q-tip in it, just like the top part of it. And I'm going to go from the outer corner of my eye. And just go straight to my eyebrows like that and just wipe away the excess that's right there and do the same thing with the other eye um but finally I'm going to um use this Claire's Cosmetics Eye Shimmer Palette I'm going to use this very light gold and use this on the inner part of my eye just to kind of eliminate that that gold part. But finally, I'm going to um, use this Claire's Cosmetics Eye Shimmer Palette. I'm going to use this very light gold and use this on the inner part of my eye just to kind of eliminate that that gold part. <laughs> I. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I had a lot of help, so thank you.